I like your take on boobies. And I like boobies. So, Mike, how early do coaches start losing sleep when it comes to the start of the season and their teams have gotten off to a, a bad start? Well, you get maybe a couple of weeks into the season before you really find out what you've got. I always slept better when my teams were off and running. Now here's Simmons. Boy, was he something else against Dallas. Here's Richmond. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Richmond's got the first points on the scoreboard for Sacramento. Paxson kicks to Pippen. The three-pointer no good. Here's Sacramento. They want to keep it rolling here following the win against Dallas. They were composed and unfazed by the hostile environment. It may have been a motivator for them. They were outstanding offensively. And to have that kind of performance on the road makes it even more impressive. And here are the Bulls now after the Kings pick up two. No good from Jordan. about one minute into the first. Webb the pass to Simmons. Richmond with it. Guarded by Paxson. Got a hand on it. Jordan looking it over. Passes it to Pippen. Over to the wing. Paxson kicks to Pippen. Jordan against Webb. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Spud Webb. And you can't allow Michael Jordan to get inside position. Once you do, you pretty much have to foul. He hits both from the strike. He can do so much damage from the line. The defense has to be more careful around him. Webb the pass to Richmond. Red ball movement here by the Kings. Feeds to Simmons. Basket is good. The assist from Webb. Simmons got his second bucket tonight. Great find by Webb. In control as the point. Jordan against Richmond. And Jordan gets it to go. Probing the paint early. Testing those waters inside. I like it. We'll see how long before their defense tightens up down there. Good start for them on offense. Now, here is Webb. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Dallas. The Bulls have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Hip it. Here's Grant. And it's all evened up. That's where Grant is most active. That offensive glass does a nice job using his body to get the position he needs. Webb against Paxson. Webb the pass to Conkin. to Richmond. Six on the shot clock. Over Jordan. Richmond no good. I'm sure he's upset right now. He had a space, had it all lined up, but just couldn't convert on the mid-range jumper. Paxson outside. And for three. Richmond with the rebound. Kings have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. The Bulls have gone two of six in the field. Jordan finds Graham. Pippen, no luck. And for Sacramento, they're shooting 43% since taking the floor today. And there's the call on Michael Jordan. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Webb. Hasn't made one yet. And here in the first quarter with a little over three and a half minutes played. And that one's good. Tisdale. You let him get going early? That could be real trouble. A pretty clean look for mid-range and he'll knock those down. Out of bounds. Sacramento will take possession. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. Look at the Kings. Right now they've compiled the sixth best record in the conference.
The Kings leading. Webb with it. He's picked up by Jordan. Here's Richmond. The rebound by Cartwright. Chicago's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. And there's a whistle, and that's going to go on Simmons. That's his first foul. Second team foul. Jordan passes to Grant. Smokes one up, and it's Sacramento with the rebound. That was tough to watch. He takes it all the way to the cup and just can't finish the job. Tisdale, no good. And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for the Bulls. Trailing by two. They are coming off that win against Atlanta. They came in with a really good game plan and executed on it. I thought they were really tenacious on offense. And they managed to do it in front of a hostile crowd. Easier said than done. Well, there's a reason it was way off. He got fouled. Yeah, easy whistle. And the Kings making a change here. Rounds checked in. That misses, so he splits the free throws. I think what you most appreciate about Pippen, at least I do, is his versatility. I mean, he scores it, he rebounds, he passes, and he defends at a really high level. Now, here's Brown. 14 points from him the last game against the Mavericks in Dallas. And it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touch by Brown. So it's Chicago now. Michael Jordan on the wing, guarded by Webb. And there's Michael Jordan, the assist by Grant. And it's six points for Michael Jordan. Tremendous strength there from Jordan. Knows he's going to get hacked inside, finishes through it. Brown dishes to Webb. And he gets it to go from the high post. Absolutely fearless with that mid-range shot. Surprised he got it up and over him. That looked like he just knew where he was on the court. Great job to finish the play. Now here's Jordan. A 32-point game for him in the win against Atlanta. And he makes plays for others, so he can beat you both ways. And so here's Sacramento. Following the miss by Michael Jordan. And he pings it home with one hand. One-handed. Threw it down with power. Oh, he loves that move. An iconic one for him. Here's Jordan. Got it. And he's now three for five from the field. Jordan's got a lot of flash to his game. A terrific guard. Loves getting tricky with his ball handling and creating shots for himself. Now, here's Brown. Scoreless thus far. Richmond against Pippen. Richmond kicks to Webb. Shot clock at six. Here's the screen. The rebound by Cartwright. I don't think you can ask for a better look, just not the result they were looking for. Yeah, he's got to put that miss behind him and continue to fire away when he gets that kind Timeout, of timeout. Chicago calls timeout. Fourth team Martin. foul. Chicago timeout call. And the Bulls will go for a different look here. Purdue, he's checked in for Cartwright. King comes in for Grant. Hodges checked in for Jordan. And B.J. Armstrong has subbed in for John Paxson. Pippen to the paint. Kick out to King. Bulls moving the ball around. Pippen down low. He's covered by Richmond. Pippen misses. Hodges against Richmond. Brown outside. Pass to Concat. Brown outside. The pass to Concat. The Kings need to get off a shot here. Richmond no good. And right now, I think he's ready for this quarter to be over. I don't know if I've ever seen him this bold. Rough quarter indeed. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. The Kings trailing. Richmond outside. Passes it to Conkey. One thirty-five left here in the opening quarter. Pass to Carswell. Lead pass was put in just the right spot. And the Kings lead by one. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. Here's Pippen. The 
a shot off that time. Richmond with the defensive effort. For Sacramento, they've gotten seven of their first 16 field goal attempts to go down here in the first. Off target from the wing. You know, you got to feel for him. He just cannot seem to buy a bucket here. Yeah, but he has to stop shooting. He's really hurting his team. They get the rebound. And the basket by Purdue. That is why Purdue is out there. Give this squad some energy. Brown feeling out a bit. Over Armstrong. Here's Coswell. And down it goes. Dunk through off a wonderful assist. Another lead change. Back and forth we go as neither team willing to back down after a bucket. And no matter which side you are cheering for, these are the games you love. Both teams fighting every step of the way. Now here's Richmond. Scotty Pippen unable to get his shot to go. Less. He's guarded by Hodgins. Inside. Here's Concan. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And it's a three-point Kings lead. And Concac focuses on attempting high-percentage shots, especially when he's in the post area. Outside Pippen. Purdue the pass to Armstrong. Purdue in the post. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. It's Sacramento. They lead by three. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Sacramento. Got to be impressed with how selfless they've been so far. Their passing has been simply outstanding. Something else they're doing well tonight, guys. Lots of points in the paint. Something to continue to keep our eye on. Snatched up. King. And he finishes nicely on the way. King's got his first bucket of the night. This team expects King to come up with those hustle plays. A tremendous team first guy. Brown outside. High post try again, Sacramento. Here's Jordan. Pass to King. Back to Jordan. And they double up Jordan. Down low. And slam dunk by Purdue. Solid pass from King. Excellent job finding and hitting the open man. Quarter number two. We're about a minute in. In out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. For Chicago, they've gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Michael Jordan on the wing. He's covered by Richmond. Hopkins checked in for Hodgkins. First team foul. Jordan on the wing. Eight points for him. Solid defensive effort. Putting in the work to protect the hoop and disrupt his shot. Round with it. He's picked up by Jordan. Six to shoot. There's a good screen. To the middle. He's it up and in off the pretty assist. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Sweet little floater. Jordan's got 10 points. Inside, Jordan runs into some good coverage. But he keeps his cool, finds a way to beat it. Timeout called by the Kings. The Bulls making a switch here. Jackson's checked in. Substitution on the court. So it's Sacramento. Up top, Richmond, guarded by Jackson. Richmond against Jackson. Lock at six. Pulls up. High post. 
Richmond no good. Bulls have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Armstrong kicks to Jordan. The second effort. Got a piece of it. Here's Tisdale. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Mavericks in Dallas. And he also put in work on the glass, doing the dirty work for his team as well. And the defending champion Chicago Bulls suffered only two playoff losses on their way to the title last season. Mike, can anyone slow them down? They sure look tough. Michael Jordan, an all-star in each of his first seven seasons. He's finally got his ring, and I don't think he's done yet. But it was interesting to watch him work his way in the team's way from being in back of teams like Boston and, and, and now competing with the Pistons. It's a journey, isn't it? It is, and it was Michael having to trust his teammates that eventually got them the ring. A putback, great positioning on the putback. Armstrong's got his second bucket of the night. Crafty play by Armstrong, beating other guys to the board and sending it back. Round against Armstrong. Round the pass to Richmond from deep. It's hauled in by the bull. King outside. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. The pass to Purdue. Now King. Here's Armstrong. Pass to Jordan. Shoots over Webb. Richmond with the steal. Here's the lob to the hoop. That's tipped, and he gets it back. Jackson against Brown. Now the dish to Webb. And it's King with the rebound. King's got four rebounds now tonight. Jordan kicks to Jackson. Back to Jordan. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Kings have gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. A nice shot by Brown. Brown putting in the work to make sure they convert. Just outrunning everybody else that time. And now the first time out called here for the Bulls. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Cartwright's checked in for Purdue. Grant comes in for King. Pippen's checked in for Jaron Jackson. And it's Jackson in for B.J. Armstrong. Concax checked in for the Kings. Simmons comes in for Richmond. Here's Jordan. The Bulls with another miss. He needs to try to get to the basket in this quarter because clearly his jumper is not going down right now. Webb can't hit. Bulls trail by three. Grant trying to break free. Goes back up. And it's good on the way in. Grant's got his second basket. Yeah, I like how strong Grant is inside. I mean, not many guys want to fool with him down there. Pass to Conklin. Brown outside. Simmons passes to Conklin. Here's Tisdale. Kicks it to Webb. To the paint. And Grant sends it back. Great defense from the big man there. Grant positioning himself perfectly to get the block. Sacramento making a switch here. Here's Webb, and they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24 second violation. And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bull. They trail by one. Jordan kicks to Pippen. Pass to Paxson. Back to Pippen. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. With all the different things Pippen can do, Scotty is one of the toughest matchups in the NBA. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. The Kings have gone 5 of 11 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. And the pass to Webb.
Down to five on the shot clock. Good. Nice job down low. And the Kings lead by one. So tricky with the floater. Webb has a sense for when to go to it. Grant the pass to Pippen. The putback. Simmons pulls it in. For Sacramento, they've gone 6 of 12 in the second quarter, right at the 50% mark from the field. And that one's good, Tisdale. That's a nice play there. Not going to miss many from there. And Chicago shooting a pretty low, 34% thus far. Grant the pass to Baxter. Screened by Grant to the inside. And the dunk by Grant. Boy, outstanding ball movement from Paxson. They're showing a willingness to involve his teammates. Passes to Cunningham. Inside. And good coming off the assist by Spud Webb. Webb's got his fifth assist in this one. And the Bulls call timeout here. A.J. Armstrong's checked in for the Bulls. Richmond, he's checked in for the Kings. Bulls trail by three. Paxson outside. Fires the three. Sacramento grabs the miss. Conkax got six rebounds in the game. Stolen away. And it's Grant in the corner. Cartwright controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Unrelenting on the boards. Cartwright using that strength and size to get those second shot points. Webb kicks to Simmons. On the wing, Richmond. Guarded by Paxson. Richmond against Paxson. Looking to get it going. The rebound by Cartwright. Cartwright's got his fifth rebound in this one. Pippen against Simmons. Pippen, the pass to Cartwright. So they take the lead. Cartwright's got the lead up to one now for the Bulls. Well, Pippen has an excellent sense for how the play is unfolding and doesn't have much trouble finding those open shooters. Armstrong against Webb. That ball is in the basket. Now he's shot six and made three of them. Clark, this has been an absolute war here in the first half. A battle royale partner. Each team really trying to establish itself, and the lead just keeps going back and forth. Richmond the pass to Tisdale. Webb against Armstrong. Out left to the wing. Here's Tisdale. Some solid defense from Grant. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Kings lead by one. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. The Bulls trailing. Jordan right side. Misses the layup. The Kings shooting with confidence. 50% from the field so far. Simmons passes to Tisdale. He dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. No room for error there because he's threw it down with both hands. Pretty smart. Yeah, with the score this close, you can't afford any mistakes. Boy, a miss slam would have been deflating. Nice to see him finish it off. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And there's the foul that goes against Sacramento. Boy, nice finish by Cartwright. Staying with it. Really good stuff. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Outside, Simmons. Dishes at the web. Pass to Conk. 
The rebound by Cartwright. Cartwright's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Pippen the pass to Cartwright. Pippen against Simmons. Pippen can't hit. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for the Kings. They lead by one. They host the 76ers after this game. That'll be the first of two straight at home. And stolen by Simmons. And he drives in. Out to the right wing. Here's Tisdale. He's covered by Grant. And that one's good. Tisdale. Tisdale's got four this quarter. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. Here's Pippen. On the wing, Jordan. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. You know, the separator with Jordan from other guys is his drive. That's obvious in my mind. He wants to win more than most anybody else out there on the floor. Brown is checked in for Simmons. Jordan against Webb. 11 feet away, and yes, it's good. Webb's got eight points. Time out, time out. You know, if Webb finds an opening in the mid-range, he'll take it. Defense has got to keep him marked at all times. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Grant with a screen on Brown. Kicks it out to Jordan. Jordan is doubled. Cartwright misses. Sacramento leading by three. Richmond dishes to Brown. Pass to Webb. And here's Richmond. Rebound by Cartwright. Cartwright's got rebound number eight now on the night. And there's Michael Jordan, the assist by Pippen. He's got 16. Not surprising at all to see Jordan piling up points, playing with a lot of determination and grit and insisting on being aggressive looking for his shots. And the rejection by Pippen. Left side, Grant. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. Richmond kicks to Webb. Little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Again, Richmond missing. He's just forcing too many shots out there right now. He just needs to dial it back and look to work the ball around the floor to his teammates. These teams just keep trading the lead. Yeah, you know, you wonder what it's going to take for somebody to pull away and take control of this thing. And there's the pass to Conkin. And stolen by Jordan. And Grant with a clear path to the hoop. The shot's good from Jordan. And now a three-point Bulls lead. For his position, Grant has good vision with the ball. I mean, he can find open guys. Timeout is called. First of the game for Sacramento. Kings check in for Horace Grant. So it's Sacramento. Brown outside. He dishes it to Richmond. Back to Brown. They set the pick. And it's good for two. Brown's got six. Brown really understanding exactly what to do in these pick and roll sets. Nice creativity there. Here's Jordan. That falls. Nice feed that time from Scotty Pippen. Pippen's got three assists in the game. The Kings trail by three. Now Webb. Eight points for him. With the teardrop. Richmond with the bucket. Richmond. Richmond's got his second basket of the game. There's some mass and density to Richmond. Not the guy you want backing you down inside. Jordan with the bucket. His hot streak continues. Night after night, making his presence felt offensively. The Kings have gone even 5 of 10 on shot attempts in the third. 
passes it to Conk. A floater. Brown, no good. Chicago leading by three. Here's Pippen. Got it. Good job in the low post. He's got five. Pippen showing you nice agility that time. Working around tough defense. Able to play through that contact. Here's Webb. Down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. Enzo Jordan will bring it up for the Bulls. Their next game playing at home is the Nets coming to town. And that game is the second of two straight at home. Well, I like to see Pippen being this assertive at the rim. He puts that impressive athleticism to good use there. Pass to Tisdale. Chicago grabs the miss. King's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Jordan. That one falls coming off of Paxson's feed. Jordan's got the lead up to seven now for the Bulls. The Kings have gone at a pretty good shooting pace. They're 6 of 13 from the field here in the third. Round the pass to Webb. Back to Brown. Just five on the clock. Jordan with the steal. Jumps up and slam dunk by Jordan. The defensive instincts of MJ kicking in. Terrific at sensing when to go for the steal. The Kings trail by nine. Brown outside. Here's Webb. At basket number six to his stat sheet. He's now six for ten. He'll hit those if you leave that much room. Need to do a better job of closing out. Here's Jordan, and he uses the glass on the way. Jordan's got 30 points. And the team-first attitude of Cartwright, wanting to get it to his open guys. Brown against Paxson. Brown kicks to Webb. They set the screen. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Concan. For the three. Webb can't hit. Not quite a block shot, but no question he got a piece of it. It might not add to his stat line, but the offense will certainly be more cautious around him after that. They're starting to idle down and settle in. Much better shot selection this half. Yeah, they're showing great patience at the offensive end. against Jordan. The pass to Tisdale. Fifty-eight seconds left to play in the third. No bucket and that miss is number six. He's made seven. Passes it to Paxson. Over Brown. Here's King. Rebound by the Kings. He's able to get it in close, but what a reaction by the defense. Getting there to shut him down with the ball picked up by Brown they grab their own miss how about the strength of Pippen allowed him to get that shot off while still taking the contact the Bulls have gone seven of nine from the free throw line tonight so for the Bulls Purdue he's checked in for Cartman Williams comes in for King and B.J. Armstrong has subbed in for John Paxson the Kings trail by 13 And the foul called on Michael Jordan. That'll be his second foul of the game. Personal foul. First team foul. Puts it up. Off the inbound. Richmond no good. The Bulls leading by 13. Picked away. And stolen by Jordan. Armstrong. That ball's nicely on the feed that time from Pippen. Pippen's got four assists now tonight. Here's Coswell. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And so it's Michael Jordan making things happen for the bowl. What an amazing quarter. There was absolutely no stopping him. Back right after this. It's 
And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. The Kings trail by 15. A steal. Michael Jordan on the wing. And it's Jordan slamming it down. Did you see that? Jordan putting on a show, folks. Show cut. He's guarded by Williams. Down low. Banked in off the glass. Love seeing this kind of interior passing. This is how you break a defense down. And taken away by Brown. And here comes Brown. Leading the fast break. Pass to Carswell. An easy two points on the layup. A pure point guard. Randy Brown isn't looking to score. He wants to pile up assists. The Bulls leading by 13. Hodges the pass to Jordan. Sacramento grabs the miss. Richmond's got seven rebounds in the game. Less. He's guarded by Hodgins. Shot clock at five. Richmond no good. And Chicago shooting in this game, 45%. It's Jordan with the drop. And the layup's good off the glass. Jordan's got four points this quarter. Defense tries to get in there and trip Jordan up, but he charges right through it. Timeout called by the Kings. Michael Jordan really making a difference here. I mean, he's getting to the rack all game, and if they can't do a better job of keeping him out of the paint, they're in for a long night. Bulls making a switch here. Paxson's checked in. Concax checked in for Sacramento. Thomas comes in for Brown. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Hey, Kevin. Well, I was able to listen in with what the Kings head coach said to his team. He was not pleased. He said, you guys look dead out there. He told them they've got to play with more activity. And then he said, this is not going to cut it. I have to see who's going to step it up, guys. Thank you, David. Thomas against Jordan. Armstrong passes to Paxson. Williams a screen inside. Off with the layup. The Kings trail by 15. To the inside. Here's Thomas. Less. He's covered by Armstrong. Outside Thomas. Pass to Richmond. Let's a floater go. Rebound by the Bulls. And the pass to Armstrong. Let's it fly. That one falls. Coming off of Paxson speed. Paxson's got six assists here tonight. The Kings have gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. Thomas kicks to Richmond. Drills it from outside. Continuous work from Richmond has made him a knockdown shooter from outside. And stolen by Thomas. And the foul called on Michael Jordan. That's his third foul of the game. Personal foul. First team foul. Substitute. Here's Webb. Pass to Tisdale. Kings moving the ball around. Jordan against Simmons. And it's Tisdale with the rebound. The Kings trail by 14. Webb the pass to Tisdale. Chalk up two there. Well, he needs help. Scoring-wise, his teammates need to do something. Chicago calls timeout. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Here's Jordan. And then Jordan slams it in. Michael Jordan, MJ. It really doesn't get much better than this. 
And so here's Sacramento. It's a 14 point game. Pass to Tisdale. Baskin is good. The assist from Webb. Webb's got his eighth assist in the game. Bulls have gone four of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Jordan's shot is off. The Kings trail by 12. Tisdale passes to Simmons. Can't connect from short range. And so Jordan will bring it up for Chicago. Picked his pocket. And up the court come the Kings on the break. And Simmons slams it in. Showing off the athleticism. When Simmons gets deep positioning like this, he's looking to throw it down. And the Bulls call timeout here. Chicago making some changes. Cartwright's checked in for Purdue. Grant comes in for Williams. Scotty Pippen is subbed in for Armstrong. Pass to Paxson. Gets Pippen on the way. Hunted by Simmons. Webb against Paxson. Spud Webb pulls it in. The Kings trail by 10. Here's Tisdale. And Grant sends it back. And so it looks like the Kings will retain possession here. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. Those kinds of plays are the ones that get you on the lead and help keep you in front. Armstrong's checked in for Chicago. Number 10, B.J. Armstrong. Chicago on defense. It's tipped. And here is Cartwright. Out of bounds. Sacramento takes possession. Not sure who he was looking for there. I know the third row definitely wasn't expecting a pass. Webb the pass to Richmond. To the middle. Here's Concan. And the lead is down inside single digits. So unselfish. If Richmond's shot isn't there, he'll move the ball. The Bulls leading by eight. Jordan up top. He's covered by Richmond. Here's Grant and the dunk by Grant. Tell you what, if they're going to try to get back and even the score in this one, playing soft defense like that is not the recipe. Oh, I agree. Yeah, there was a serious lack of rim protection on that play for sure. And for a coach, there's nothing more maddening than allowing wide open looks at the rim. You know, I think they've got to show a little more anticipation dealing with these screens because right now they're just laying on them and getting stuck. Look, you have to go over the top or duck under. Right now, they're seemingly trying to go through the screen. Richmond, the pass to Tisdale. To the paint, here's Konkak. Lays it up off the glass. Konkak's got four points in the quarter. Excellent vision on display, dropping a dime to set up his teammate. Grant finds Jordan. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Smart play that time by Jordan, using the pump, baiting the defender, and he bit. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Chicago. The way they've been chasing after their shots in this game is really admirable. Getting them lots of second chance looks at the basket. And I've also noticed how opportunistic they've been off turnover. Doing a really good job taking advantage of the opponent's mistakes. The speed of Webb is tough to keep up with, especially when he's running the break. Might want to slow it down, Mike, here just a little bit. Take your time, get a good one. Jordan inside. He's covered by Richmond. They retain possession. Outside, Simmons. Rebound by Pippen. Pippen's got his seventh rebound here tonight. From the arc. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Quick adjustment that time by Armstrong. Gets the ball and gets his shot off immediately. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. They trail by ten. 152 left in the fourth quarter. Paxson, he's checked in for Armstrong. And here are the Kings now, trailing by 10. Tisdale, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. 
that one on Pippen. You know, I think that was a message sending foul there. They're not going to allow any easy buckets at the rim. Yeah, as a coach, I like that one. Make them earn it at the line. Bulls leading by eight. Allman here now for an injury report. Well, guys, I was able to talk with the head athletic trainer of the Bulls. It was confirmed that the ankle did turn and it has significant swelling. He can put very little weight on it right now. This was a team that was struggling a bit, so losing him hurts extra. But they have to cope with the loss. Back to you. David, thanks for the report. Mike, good to hear. He will not be out that long. Yeah, Kevin, that could have been a lot worse. Oof. Pippen down low. Simmons is there. Here's Cartwright, guarded by Webb. Cartwright, the pass to Grant. And the dunk by Grant. And this just goes to show how much of a difference focus makes. Good win here for the Bulls. And Clark at the offensive end, they owned the lane. Exactly, Kevin. Even when help came over, it just wasn't enough to slow them down. And they took charge when it counted, and they'll be notching their ninth win overall. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Jordan. Well, his defense was tremendous tonight. Really, really high level. He was a pest, forced the opponents into a lot of turnovers. That is good. And the Bulls lead is cut down to six and the bucket from Simmons. Nice, smooth shot by Simmons. He made it just enough power for that distance. And he commits the intentional foul. Thirty-six seconds left to play here on the fourth. Short, and now they decide to foul intentional. Good on the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. Timeout called by the Kings. They're down by eight. Thirty-two seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Boy, they're going to have to get a shot up quickly and then foul right away. It's going to be tough. They don't have much time to work with, but stranger things have happened. Ball stolen. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than seven. Oh, and there he puts oh, it down! Man, what oh, a oh, yeah. oh, oh, my goodness! Well, these fans will certainly go home happy as they'll win going away. And this crowd can take some credit. Their energy made the difference. Stolen by Pippen. The pass to Paxson. Puts up a deep three. Missed. And so Chicago takes this one and by a big margin. Boy, this was an exciting game for sure. Made extra special, Mike, by all the noise from this home crowd. It was it was deafening inside. Well, they knew their squad was feeding off of them. So they did all they could to push them out there. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. Clark Kellogg, Mike Fratello, and David Aldridge and the rest of our 2K team. This is Kevin Arlen signing off. See you next time.